Hello Skullgirls fans, this is Shadow 33 and I thought I'd make a little bit of a follow-up. I've been doing, I had been doing some videos before with players like Physics Wiz and Full Bleed and Slice Toast who are basically learning Skullgirls, me learning Skullgirls, and well, I have learned a lot. And I've also got a new stick, I've got a Combo Q4, which is actually very nice, much nicer than the Horny Mini I was using before. And I figure I should show how I'm playing now. It's not necessarily spectacular, but I'm sure it's improved. So without further ado, let us get to Quick Match. So I'm still playing Fortune Fuqua, that has not changed at all. I mean, for anyone who watched the Learning With episodes, that was primarily on Fortune. I didn't do anything for Fuqua because I find Fuqua more straightforward. I didn't feel like I needed as much help. I mean, I probably do need help, but I didn't think I needed as much. And your first match will be against Carr. Name is unfortunately not familiar. If anyone who's watching knows these people, who these players are, please let me know because not all the names are familiar. If I didn't Ladies meet up with them in Evo, I probably don't know who they are. <sighs> Bit of a bad read there, unfortunately, at the start. To just get into block mode. That'll probably reset. Ow. Reset into a cross up, which is, of course. What? I thought I predicted that. Okay, got that one finally. Okay, that should have been... there. You can combo that into a medium axe kick, I just failed to do so. <sighs> and of course, that was actually a very nice assist call by Carr. So yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, I will have to deal with that, and Carr is actually quite good. So. I, feel, I feel kind of unfortunate that I didn't even think about the fact that there was going to be a that tag in, the tag in throws a thing that was coming at a lot of Evo, and I was kind of surprised I didn't even see it coming there. Okay, this is going very poorly. Well, this is, this is a bad omen. This this really is a bad omen. I have clearly learned absolutely nothing. Oh, hey, I might have learned something, actually. Nope, never mind. Well, that was a bad start. I did not call that er that opening throw, and as a result, ended up getting pretty heavily damaged early on. And I didn't confirm off that stray light kick. Gotta remember to do this. Light kick to the medium kick, axe kick. Would have probably done me a lot of good. Could have gotten a nice 34 percent combo off of that. Then from there, probably been able to get a reset. Probably would have cornered by that point. Actually, that would have been into a DHC, so Fortune would have been still alive. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off next time, or rather get into a more more favorable position in the first place next time. And the next game is going to be against someone completely different, someone far closer. Also not particularly familiar with this player. I'm ready to pounce. Here this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so Showtime. Peacock and it looks like Pe no. Peacock and Eliza. Well, that's kind of new. Uh, of course, they're gonna wall king me because that's okay. Well, there's only one way I know to deal with this, and that's to go headless. And that's you know, that's not working. I hate fighting Fortune. I really do. I mean, not Fortune. I hate fighting Peacock. He's just a pain to fight. Well. I mean, there's a reason why her main strategy is called Wall of Pain. I, I, trying to get through it is very difficult. It's just everything hitting you all the time. It's like, Peacock and Pain Wheel are the two characters I do not know how to deal with. This is looking really bad. I'm... Yeah, okay, so this has now become Shadow Fury still sucks at Skullgirls. Apparently, because that... Those last two games, not good omens. It looks like we're going to have the original player back again, so I can maybe... Nope, someone else. Someone who's similarly distant or a similar ping, but someone else nonetheless. See, I know you're supposed to kind of dodge it and weave like in between peacock spawns, but it's a pain in the butt to try to actually do. Ladies Especially when there minutes, aren't that many peacocks, I find. Oh, 
Oh, that was we're hidden light. Or just locked. What? I thought, I thought that was another heavy punch. Ah, that combo. Those drop combos. Good time for a light, though, in the assist. I just realized I'm fighting against a peacock. Well, Peacock is one of the options. I thought I, thought I, I, thought I continued that. Do I have a buffer? Or I can do that. That works too. Okay, so fortunes are out. Now it's Fuku versus Peacock. That how is that not a block? Oh great. Yeah, this person knows how to play Peacock, all right. Or at least they have some trick up their sleeve and nothing else. Uh, why don't you dodge? I mean, dash. What? Ah, that was... That was a perfectly timed assist, but at least I managed to get through it somewhat. What? Uh, it's one thing I found out about the stick as I'm constantly being late when I'm doing stuff. I keep... I don't know why I'm just being a bit too light on it. Because I know it's a stick that you can't actually get away with being light on. Oh, what? How did that not... I let Fortune go. I can't believe I let Fortune go there. Well, I was closer, but I still lost. Anyway, let's move on. I mean, I am clearly warming up. I'm starting to get myself back into the groove of things. It's still not great, but something, at least. Well, it's been two peacocks tonight, so maybe my statement about there aren't very many peacocks that I fight is false. Granted, the people I play against are actually also <laughs> playing against the most are fortune players as well, so I guess it's not really... it's kind of skewed. Probably ask some Peacock players in the Skullgirls IRC channel. Hey, let's play Peacock so I can learn how to counter her because she's a pain in the butt. She's a wall of pain in the neck. That's all she is. Of course, now for some odd reason, there's no one in Quick Match, which is unusual. But yeah, that last match. Definitely did better, but I do feel kind of silly that that one combo, like my Philia loop, or my Fukua loop, I don't know why I have a hard time managing it the off the ground part. Like I get him to the ground and then hit the ground and it's just, I don't seem to do it fast enough. I just, I'm getting hesitant on hitting that light kick, just slamming the light kick. I should just be slamming it. Not now, because it's going to mess up the menu, but I should just be slamming it. As soon as I hit the ground, but for some reason it didn't do that. It's like down light kick, the trick was, or down light punch, either one. Because they're still in, they're not going to be doing anything, they're still in hit stun. They're still open to be hit once again, but I don't seem to want to pull that off. I don't know what's wrong with me. Or why no one is showing up. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. And this, someone I don't know. Or at least someone who I don't recognize because they might have changed the name. Can I have the a solo trailer? band. Well, they're probably not Slicedos, because Slicedos uses Sturm. Not sure they're. I've seen other solo bands, though. I mean, they're kind of tricky to play as Fortune, but since I don't play Headless Fortune, it's not a problem. Okay, that was an intentional reset. What? Ah. That's, why did they not? That should have been my fiber. Okay, that was another axe kick thing. That was also too slow. That that heavy punch is way too slow. But yeah, this this guy, this opponent here, definitely one of my easier ones today. And I say that right as Fortune's about to die. 
And that wasn't, yeah, that was one character of two against the solo. So I've gotten better, just not great. Oh, I've actually haven't played Jorge. Good to know Fenster though. I know there are other solo bands, that being one of them. I just remember, because I haven't played in Skullbats in a little while just because I've been busy on Sundays for the last month or so. But there was also, I think it was Space Jesus, who played Big Band, basically big played Big Band's Heavy Punch. They might have gotten a bit better, but when I was playing Skullbats, they they played Big Band's Heavy Punch. That, that was basically it. Looks like I found a new scratching post. Ah, okay. Julia Bella, well I'm gonna do a pair pretty quick. That was a bad start on my part, I should have started with Fiverr. Go for the fiber loop. Fortunately, I don't know my headless very well, but let's see what I can pull off. Nope, I shouldn't even try. This is a bad time to try that. Very, very bad time to try it. There we go. That was still a poor option, but at least it's better than having my head out there for Bella to just take advantage of being out of the field. That's the loop I wanted! There we go! And I was able to block that. I think in the beta that's actually post-flash unblockable, but it didn't jump chance for some reason. I think it's post-flash unblockable in beta. But not in. There we go. Not in retail. Not so far. Oh, interesting choice. Okay, yeah, Finster, I will get back to that in a second. I am currently being thrown about by a giant hand hat. A little bit distracted at the moment. Ah, I thought I could have to dismember that. Nope, that was a bad timing. That was a really bad timing. Poorest decision making I've made so far. Okay, what did you want to say, Fenster? Okay, Space Jesus has been playing more stuff, and... Yes. Oh, that was a block... Oh yeah, that was a block dynamo. What am I thinking? I was so worried about the head being hit, I forgot I could have actually just gone for a retaliation combo and probably taken out Bella right then and there. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't know why I didn't think... I've blocked a really unsafe move. Let's... Oh, I guess we can see who this is. It's like, I've blocked a really unsafe move. Just go! I... Yeah, sorry, it's kind of hard, because I had the chat on another monitor, so trying to read it, I can sort of do that while playing, but it's a little bit tricky, especially that match was pretty Time intense. Your physical. I'm ready to hey, bounce. the first double I've encountered today. Beat him up, guys. Assuming we get that far. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, at least in terms of assists. <laughs> Oops. I didn't want to do a super there. I did want to do a throw there, and that would have actually been the right option. Except for the whole being hit part, I guess it. Please tell me that's it. that was a hit grab from Valentine right there. Okay. How did I miss that? That was a, that was a perfect Elgato! There we go. It's one character down. That was a bit late on the throw. I was my more reliable light. Oh, that was that was too risky. But yeah, medium in the air, medium punch to or, sorry, medium kick to heavy kick. I find much safer than what I just did there. I keep forgetting. Gosh, I should throw from that. I'm gonna get the chance. I'm thinking too hard right now. What? Ah, that was a perfect time for a Kukua switch, DHC. Okay, so we do have double, and we do have cat heads on top of that. Which is just perfect. And we have that. Oh, what? That should be able to hit. I mean, I realize I have the super option, I just wanted to save the meter for a more inopportune situation where I'd actually really need it, but apparently that, that was it. 
Okay. This is this is bad. I unfortunately I'm not particularly knowledgeable about what Double can do. She's probably the character I'm least familiar with overall. Okay, I couldn't have blocked that anyway. But yeah, that was. Oh come on! Okay, yeah, right, Hunter. I'll I'll keep that in mind. I guess I'm just enamored of the fact that being a hitbox, I can actually read the chat immediately. So that was. Okay against Valentine. I've played a lot of Valentines. Haven't played a lot of doubles. Wasn't quite sure what to do then. Curiosity can't kill me. Okay, Eliza Fuqua. I'm gonna throw an assist right away. Yep, there it is. Figured I wouldn't throw it my own just because that was gonna happen. the heck? How did that not OTG? There must have been something I did wrong there, because that should have OTG. Alright, whatever, let's just go to the... Oh, what? Ah. Nice move there. Ow. Ah. Corner comboing. This is getting annoying. Let's see what I can do about this. Like that. That that will work. I'm I'm good with that. Actually, let's just let's do a tag. You may not be the best time for a tag. Okay, I'm mashing. Always a bad idea. What? How did that not? Oh right, it was I hit buttons. I made the mistake of hitting buttons. That's a common mistake of mine. I I really should not hit buttons. Okay, I think I've lost this match. I'm at a ma I'm massive disadvantage, and Nandez is clearly a better player than I am, and I can't remember to block. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Wow, that sucked. I managed to get through Eliza eventually, but that did not work out ideally. So clearly I have not actually improved that much. I'm sorry, I overestimated myself. <sighs> I know, I could have had it. It was so close. I just... I messed up getting in that in the corner. Okay, let's see if I can redeem myself. Against Nandez again. Let's see if I can do this. It's gonna be Eliza Fuqua again. They're probably gonna throw the assist right away, so I should probably delay my own. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's a common time. thing. Yep. As usual. I find a lot of players do that right at the start of the game. They will throw out their assist immediately. Okay, is that supposed to That probably was a good time for a super, honestly, but whatever. Actually, you know, that wouldn't have been a good time for a super. I don't have the meter for it. Oh, now I'm back in the corner. Just perfect. Ah, that was the right throw read, but not the right stuff to do with it. At least I can do that. There we go. Got rid of Eliza once again, and now we're Fuqua Mirror, but at least this time I have more health to work with. Ah, oh, that was too early. What's- oh, right. Apparently there's something in beta that actually changes the coloring on those, but I haven't managed to actually had a chance to play that yet. Which I feel kind of bad about, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to play beta since that change has been there. I love that combo. What? Man, the timing of that shadow is weird. Get right. There we go. Slightly redeemed myself. That's a wrap. All right. So one one against Nandez. I don't know if I'll fight Nandez again, but I have gone one one. I managed to get that win. So you were right, Fenster. I could have had it, and I did get it. Hooray! And tiebreaker match. Okay, let's see what happens. Third match. Let's see if Nandez goes for that opening assist three times in a row. Yep.
Ow. I should not be able to get away with that. And by that, I mean doing the down on there. That was... Really, that's a mistake. Doing... Doing the down kick follow-up to the Rekka, that should... That's the wrong thing to do on a block string. I don't know how I'm getting away with that three times in a row. Or, maybe not in a row, but still, you know. So many... I was just getting away with that over and over again. Oh. Okay, well, I'm out of the... Not quite out of the woods yet, but close. No, not quite. Wow, that was a hard read. Just, like, I think a frame or two after the block animation stopped. And I managed to pull that off. I am really surprised at that! But hey, I did it! Oh, that was a waste of meter? There we go! 2 1 for me! I don't know if Nandas will come up again, but that went remarkably well, although I really am surprised I was able to pull off that down twice. Like, seriously, down kick follow to Rekka, that's the wrong follow up. The normal kick follow up is what I should be doing on a block string, because that's the one that's safe on block. Like, seriously, if that had been blocked any time, I would have lost fortune. Just simply, Eliza would have comboed fortune out, probably got her in the other corner, that would have been game. But. I don't know how that worked out. I mean, it is a mix-up. Happened to work very surprising to me, though, because that was the wrong option every time. Maybe that's why it worked. Maybe that, that's the thing. They were expecting I was going to go for the high kick, Rekka, and nope. Let's see so yeah, that's an old works. habit of mine. That's just something I've been trying to work out of, and, and it apparently worked in that case. Showtime. But really, that's, like I said, that is not a true block string. <laughs> Ah, darn it. What? How's that? That was red IPS. How? I'm gonna use the... Yep, how do you punch... I, okay, it must have been just because it was late in the combo, because that shouldn't have happened. Not red IPS, at least. Because that means that I used heavy punch twice in a row, or... Basically, it detected a cycle on the heavy punch, and that's death. Well, despite my fancy comboing, I did not manage to actually do much. I forget my own peril in fighting against Cerebella, but still... There we go. Got over the corner. Darn it, that's not gonna- oh, it is gonna hit. Nope. That actually was the wrong double butt button. Anyway, I should have gone for the- Here comes the throw. Hey, I got something. Not enough for super, though. Oh, darn it! That was a heavy birthday right there! Such a heavy birthday opportunity. I can't believe I threw it away. Yes! Okay, that was close. I can't believe I managed to pull that out. But somehow I managed to pull that out. What what happened in that game? I'm gonna have to review the footage. I forgot what happened in that game. I actually blanked out of it. Sorry. I I would like to go back and analyze what I did, but I genuinely cannot remember. You together. I, I did something. Oh wait, I right. This okay. I, this is a second rematch against Cloud King here. No, never mind. It's someone else. Unless they've changed their colors for. That's gotta be a thing. I'm gonna... <sighs> Darn it. How many affiliate double Valentine players are there? Actually, that's probably a stupid question to ask because there's probably a lot. Another happy birthday situation I let fall through. Nope, this is gonna be supered out. Combo will end with a super, I'm sure of it. Or just end with lethal. That works too. I'm blocking. Whereas after the last performance, I'm going to just completely whiff this one. Time to apply pressure. <sighs> well, at least I'm out of the corner, if nothing else. Like, it matters at this point. Let's go. Oh, that was... should have been forward. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that the Hornet Bomber properties have also changed somewhat. I don't really have a nerf or buff, I can't remember. Yeah, the betas changed 
Beta's changed a lot. I kind of wish I could have done this in beta, but there aren't a lot of people playing quick match in beta. The doctor will see you now. That's a wrap. Oh, this is the Ducketer team. Okay, that explains everyone's playing it then. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. But okay, let's see if I can do this again. So yeah, Coco was the first one. Thank you for reminding me, Fester. Was Coco who was the first player I played? Let's try to rematch this and perfect. not fall apart Ladies completely right at the word go. <laughs> or fail completely right at the word go because I failed to do a Z properly. Okay. Okay, I, I thought the buffer was more forgiving than that. Okay, that's where I mean I I cannot do that easily and safely. I managed to get away with it. I mean, later on I got punished, but I managed to get away with it initially because, well, I did. Kind of got lucky more than anything. Ah. Oh, of course, Affiliate's going to go for the mix-up, the, the ILO mix-up that's pain in the butt to deal with, especially as my frame rate for some reason decides to go down. I don't wake up super, that works too. It's surprising. I actually found out just in training mode that that works. Like, Fuqua's wake up throw game is really powerful. I don't know. I'm sure that's something that other people have figured out beforehand, but it's something that I figured out recently. So at least I have something of a satisfaction having discovered that independently without having looked up any guides. Uh, don't think it's gonna matter though. Oh man, that is really not gonna matter. Nope, that was that was safe. What in the... Oh, okay, that was... I probably could have blocked that, actually. I think I could have blocked that. I'm not totally... This is the game. That was pretty much me giving up there. <laughs> but I did better that time. I got one character down. I got Valentine's down, Philia almost down. An improvement. Not sure how well Cloud King is known, though. I'm curious. And once again, let's see how well I can do this time. Because I made some big mistakes that time. Like the, near the end, I'm getting desperate and throwing out just a bunch of random supers. Like that—that that was just I a bad think idea. You're looking for a lab rat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Not the best option. Oh, why did I do that? I, I should have done what I tried to do last time. Okay, that. Not. I thought like you could not have priority in that situation. Ah, thank you for getting me out of the corner. Almost getting me out of the corner. Almost being the operative word. I don't know why... How am I not getting... Oh, there is finally... Uh, that was a burst bait, too. Am I not... Ah, I'm not blocking back. Darn, I was going straight down, not back down. Well, that was... Okay, he's a good player. Good. So I have, there's not as much shame in losing in that case. <sighs> Although I did manage to avoid the burst fades. So that's something. But I've noticed I'm actually not terrible at avoiding burst fades. I think it's that I'm just not really good at remembering to burst in the first place. <laughs> I'm not at this level of play where I have a tendency to burst on a reaction. So I actually avoid burst fades by simply not being good enough. Which I know sounds weird, but it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Because I don't, like, burst space are kind of intended to, de to defeat players who will just burst on reaction mindlessly. One thing about, always oh, is the burst space, and I was just, oh hey, green, burst! And I have to think about that. Like, I see the green sparks, and it takes me a little while to think about, oh yeah, I've got a burst here. And by that time it's happened, the burst bait's over. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't, I don't think there's any situation where it's been a green burst. Red burst, yes, but green burst not so much, where it's been a situation where it actually seemed like I could have just burst out of that. Before it was over. Before the combo's over, I can block. You're a wee pain. And here's the other character that I have a notoriously hard time with. Ladies and gentlemen, it's In fact, I almost wanted to switch to Fuqua right off, but let's see what I can do here. Oh, apparently more than I expected. That heavy actually came out of nowhere. I am really surprised I was able to get away with that. Granted, I'm not able to get away with you know, everything and anything else, but that was something. That was actually a burst opportunity. 
Ouch. Yeah, see, I do not know how to deal with Bane Wheel. At all. At least not with Fortune. I kind of know how to deal with Rafuqua. I probably can complete that combo a bit better than I had. But yeah, it's like... You know, Fuqua has enough zoning options that I can sort of kind of deal with it, even though this Pain Wheel player loves to armor. Oops, that was bad. I did not time that right. I thought I was going to get in the air. That's... What? Ah, so close. Had I gone for... If I had gone for my Fireball Super, I would have had it. That's how close it was. Or if I just, you know, switched out to Fuku as soon as I possibly could. That would have also done the trick. In fact... I'm finding the same player. Okay, well, let's just... I think... I, uh, I'll do this manually then. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be facing, facing that again, so... Relationship... Yes, alright. Good. Done. Hey. <sighs> And that was actually a decent enough call. Start with Fuku instead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. <laughs> Maybe I should make that my second macro. Because I actually don't have my second ensemble set up. And I don't really play any other characters, so it's not a bad idea. Although... Nope. Ah. Dang, that shadow off is very difficult. I noticed there's some timing changes in the beta. I really have no idea how those affect things. Oh, right, the high attack, that's fine. Okay, well, that's a bad start regardless. How do I get out of this? I don't. That's how. Darn it! See when that happens. Ag! Finally get the fiber off. Darn it. Medium heavy kick. Not... Actually, medium punch, heavy punch. Yes, yeah, medium punch, heavy punch, axe kick. That's what we need to do. Uh, yeah, like I said, I do not know how to deal with pain wheel. I sort of know, but it's just not a character I fight a lot. Not a character I see come up a lot. When they do, I just fall apart. He has like pain wheel and peacock. And I've fought teams of Pain Wheel and Peacock. And that is about the worst that it gets for me. Oh, whoops. That... This is going to be tricky. I forgot the input delay. This might rewind. Fair yes, warning. This might start to look a little weird. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Oh, wait. What the fuck is that? Once again, if I know they're going to go in the air out of the start, I should be going for a fiber. Now, I do know who Pickles is, and I've played Pickles before, and they're quite good, and I really shouldn't have thrown out Fuku there to get Happy Birthday. Wait, that's only one combo so far? Or just about get Double Snap. I can't really not confirm off that. That was poor. Nope. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm even moving the stick at all, to be honest, in this matchup. I have dealt. I'm. This isn't perfected. That's my one consolation. Is I haven't perfected. How did that not jump cancel? No, that's that's. Well, that's back to fortune. But fortune has no head on. And I have no time to put a head, put her head back on because I just don't have that kind of time. Oh, I could have countered something. Okay, now I have time to put her head back on. Well, at least that's safe on block. That's the important thing. What? I need to remember to do fibers. I don't know why I can't remember to do fibers. Not that hard to remember to do. That is, this is the least combo-heavy squiggly I've ever played. I'm sorry it had to come to 
That was one of the most combo-heavy Phillies I've ever played, and one of the least combo-heavy Squigglies I've ever played. Normally Squigglies... I mean, Pickles is a really good player, so that's probably why, because Pickles is doing their own thing. But most Squigglies I play basically follow Montlover's guide to the letter. And that involves massive reset-heavy combos all the time. It's like, you get hit, and you're basically just waiting... You're watching a movie until finally you get to block. Are you ready? For over a decade. But let's see. Solo, Pickles, Squiggly, that Ladies might be different. Probably will go in the air first. Yep. Ow. Wow, I... Oh, right, because I need to hit with all the hits in order to... That could work. Yep. But yeah, this is definitely a don't get hit game, because I cannot get hit, otherwise I'm going to lose like that. But no, this is, like I said, very combo light. Normally there would have been about 20 more hits before that grave... Uh, the, the throw came in. Super throw came in. And it's gonna be battle offer probably. I don't Fortune's dead. Oh, that was a block too. Okay, now I'm not getting the reads anymore. Actually now I'm completely wall I'm just going nuts. I don't know what to do. Oh, ah, that was badly timed. I mean that was the wrong move anyway, but still. For being the wrong move, it was badly timed. Ah, that was closer, but that is probably a weaker character of theirs. Man, and I had... I was getting Pickles down to half-life, and I was still perfect. So maybe I have gone better. Okay, I'm probably going to do, like, one or two more of these, and then I'm going to sign off for the night. So I hope you've been enjoying this, those who've been watching. And back to Parasoil, who I haven't actually played for a while tonight. I'll probably write down all the names of the players I played in the description. I look through. Oh, don't forget one or two. Oh, wait, this... Oh, yeah, this one. This is one of the first ones I've played tonight, so let's see if I'm warmed up now. Nope! No. Goku is supposed to take hits. Darn it. How am I supposed to get around that? I hate the wall of pain. Make the wall of pain go away. Or come near me. That works too, actually. Or would in theory. Except for the stupid bomb hitting me in the back. I hate dealing with wall of pain. Ah. Missed time that again. And now I'm back to being Fortune, which is not... Which is far from ideal. I keep it's like it can be an axe kick. Nope, that's throw response, and that's not going to work. <sighs> I hate fighting Peacock. I need to fight more peacocks, so I stop hating fighting them, since I'll know how to do. <laughs> we need to fight a peacock pain wheel team for like, a hundred matches. Until I finally figure this whole bloody thing out. That's what I need to do, and then I can actually be able to deal with pain wheel and peacock. Okay, Eliza, and who else? Who are you playing? You are... Oh, solo less. Okay, that's... Gonna be interesting. And then it turned out this is Gitalix. Nope, it's not Gitalix. They didn't attack with Sekhmet quickly enough. How did that double knockdown? I missed something. Okay, that was two resets in a row. That really shouldn't have worked. That not so much. And that's how you counter segments. Block and throw. Real simple. Actually, it's pretty much how you counter Eliza in general in a lot of ways. Ah, I thought they are going to go... Oh. 
and and there we go. That's game. And I think I will end it off there. It's in the game. <laughs> With that solo Liza win. Kind of wish I could have beaten it against a peacock or something, but no, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night. And I'm sure I did something wrong, so you're probably going to throw stuff in the comments and say, ah, oh, you should have done this or that. I welcome that, because I'm sure there's a lot of things I did wrong that I don't even know about. Anyway, with that said, thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.